That is pretty darn cool. I'm ready cool. to go to the park. Dude, it rolls so good. <laughs> I'm oh, ready to go. Just, just try that. Hold on. Oh, that's it right there. Oh. Ah, smoke screen. Last month, we spent a week down at Texas at Go Power Sports World Headquarters for the Pate Swap Meet, which is the biggest swap meet in Texas. We brought down our classic rat rod wagon and decided to build a trailer for it so we can haul around our parts and our friends. So in this episode, we are finishing up the trailer, taking it for a test drive, and then exploring all there is to see at the always surprising Pate Swap Meet. Whether you're looking for old mini bikes, uh, Hondas, cars, memorabilia, it has a little bit of everything. So enjoy today's episode. Cover. Yep. We gotta put the rear wheels on and take it for a test drive? Yeah. All right, so now that we've got the steering basically done, we're getting ready to start doing the uh, the outside frame rails and then the one inch spacers that I cut. So let's get this tub out of the way. Don't don't look at the bottom. No, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like the way you do <laughs> So we got four of them. We got four. So I feel like we could probably go like, like basically a couple right, inches in. Right where the cross oh, pieces are. Right there. Right now. And then somewhere like here on the front one. What are you thinking? Same nah, right there. I think there. a little bit behind. So all the welding is done on the frame. We flipped it over and realized it would be pretty cool if we got all the bolt holes the same for the tub where we can turn this thing upside down and have a lifted wagon. Or slammed. Or slammed. I don't know, I think I like the slam best. But and options are cool, man. Yeah, but we gotta be very accurate with the uh, cutting of the, or drilling of the holes. Yep. Because if we're off a little bit, that's uh, yeah, it ain't gonna do nothing. So we're gonna get these holes drilled, put the tub on, and then we need to figure out how we're gonna fasten it to the back of the wagon. <laughs> oh yeah. Dude, the off-road mode is pretty cool. Now, it would be sweet if we could figure out how to get it to like this. But the odds of us being that accurate with the drilling the holes, not that high. Kind of slim to none. So that being said, let's flip it over and run drill. All right. All right, now we're in the low position. Much better. Oh, that is. That is so cool. That is cool. Pretty much the completed look. So we would have a little trouble steering it like this. Oh, riding in it? Well, because right here is, it's hitting the... Uh, oh. So left turns are a problem if you do that. But, I mean, we're not planning on doing that. Well, Dude, that thing is so cool. Yeah. We gotta, Dude! We, we, gotta, we gotta pull the paint off of this. Somebody spray painted over the original logo. Yeah. So I'm gonna get some brake clean and a rag and hopefully we can bring it back to life. This is a killer voice. Oh, I see some lettering coming in. I see flyer right there. That's pretty cool. Oh. Western. Flyer. Western Flyer Rocket. That's cool, man. It's, how's your side coming out? Oh, it's coming out pretty good. That is cool. He's got, a little, he's got more elbow grease than I do. So we're to the point of drilling the holes in the tub and adding, adding finishing touches. That is pretty darn cool. I'm ready cool. to go to the park. Dude, it rolls so good. <laughs> I'm ready to go. Just try that. Hold on. Oh. That's it, right there. Yep, left. That is cool. <laughs> yep, yep, that's good. Good job, guys. <laughs> that is killer. Oh, man. 
and look. Yeah, you can ride it like a skateboard. Give it a bounce. I think that'll hold a I think that's a, I think that'll hold a small block Chevy. All right, so we're, what we're gonna do, we have to attach the tub down to the frame. So I've done some measurements. We're taking the tub off and we are going to go forward with this six inches from the rear. Right there. Right there. And two inches from the front. Right there. And right there. All right. So now we need to figure out something in between. So we got 30 inches here, so 30 basically in half will go 15. So we're gonna have six holes. Okay. Six body mounts. Yep. And the reason why I'm drilling through this without the tub on it, I'm worried about drilling through the tub and kind of missing the frame. So we're gonna drill these holes, then we're gonna put the tub on the ground upside down and we're gonna turn the frame over and set it on top and go ahead and drill through. Perfect. Yeah. Yep. Wait. Yeah, it's like a lava field. Nice bumper sticker, dude. Absolutely. Right above the trailer hitch. Right above the classic, it'll be fine. I love the sticker. Yep, it's a very, it's a vintage looking sticker. Yeah, it's cool. So the wagon trailer is almost finished. It looks fantastic. It's totally going to haul around a six liter. Uh, but we have one more thing to add. Um, we know that this project is missing an engine, so we're going to install one real quick. We're going to install the smallest engine Go Power Sports cells. So this is off of one of their brand new laser cut uh, desk ornaments, basically. So there are many bikes, you can find them on their website. They're really, really cool, but this is just the engine off of it. So we're gonna tack weld it on the front of this thing real quick. Then we're gonna test it out in the parking lot. All right, cover? Yeah. Man. And look, it's just enough space where if we hit the brakes, it won't hit the tub. We might, have, we might have a little bit of shock in there, but no well, big deal. Who wants to go for the first ride? All right. <laughs> Let's do it. How you do a test drive right there? <laughs> I mean, look. Hold on. There's no give on that. I don't that. see any movement. That thing is solid. I like it. Right, follow us all the way to Paint Sloppy. We'll see you there. 
So the exhaust thing was a bit of an oversight, but other than that, it steers, it looks fantastic. Always going fast. <laughs> we will see you out at the paint swap meet uh, where we're gonna be looking for parts. We're gonna be cruising around. It's one of the best swap meets in the nation because you can ride around on mini bikes after five o'clock. And we're gonna see if we can find a six liter throw in the back of that thing. We'll see you there. Good morning. We're walking into the paint swap meet for the first day and we're like, we're like a couple of kids in a candy store. I'm like a sprinkler. Yeah. I can't stop looking. Dude, there's some mini bikes over there. Some Ooh, Han, old Hondas dude, maybe. Somebody's got a wagon trailer. Oh, someone's got a wagon trailer like us. I think ours is cooler, I think though. ours is cooler. So we're going to find our way to the Go Power Sports booth and catch back up with you. Oh, and there's a Chevrolet sign. So here we are. Go Power Sports booth. First buy of the day. Charles just picked up this, uh, Old wagon. What is oh, it? Yeah. Flying O Express. I, th I think it'll look good, you know, scraping the frame and, you know, have my have my little kid in here and yep. we can tow him around car shows and other swap meets. Exactly. Get him started young, you know. He can, he can get his own little Indian. It was seen a little Indian that would fit him perfectly yeah. in about two years. So we found this awesome little fiberglass body. It was used out in front of a grocery store and we're thinking about buying it if I can sit in it. But the seller told us that it's been used oh as a God, cat. It's bad. It's been used as a cat litter box for a long time. It's, it's, it's no way. Oh. <laughs> Burn it. Burn it. So we are eight minutes from being able to ride mini bikes out here at Pate. And we got everything from Trail 70s to old mini bikes, resto mini bikes. Charles just picked this up. It's a Sears Roper, full suspension. It's complete, I believe. Bill Brake Repeat is here with their turbo rotary bike. It's gonna be a fun time. Alright, so we're out here at the paint swap meet. It's 5 o'clock, and at the paint swap meet, 5 o'clock means that you can hop on a mini bike and cruise. And that's the best way to see all that there is for sale. So we have a lead on a Honda Z50 Christmas Special. And if you don't know what that is, well... Look it up! Look it up. They are incredibly rare and they are cool. So we're going to hop on the wagon with our new trailer and see if we can go find it. No matter what you're looking for, Pate has something for you. Go Power Sports always has one of the biggest displays at the show, and this year they're raffling off an all-chrome Little Rascal mini bike to raise money for charity. They gave Ike the job of picking the winner, but more on that a little later when we're done exploring. So we haven't found the bike yet, but we have found a bunch of really cool stuff. Pedal cars, go-kart, I love the the ATC 70 with the 140 and Springer front end. Got a Cushman Go Power Sports engine. That is cool. Bumper cars. It's always just a great time out here at the Pace Swap Me. There is so much to see. Every year I come back, I think, I must have seen it all. Nope. There are always more types of mini bikes that I've never seen before. Oh! Oh, oh holy <laughs> moly! No. Yeah. I have never seen something like that. How does that even happen? Nitrous. <laughs> so we're at the paint swap meet Saturday. It's almost two o'clock. I've got to draw all the tickets from the raffle. So uh, I'm gonna make a bunch of people unhappy and a select few very happy. To see who's gonna win the Lil Rascal Chrome. Yeah. <laughs> Make your way up here, $10 for a raffle ticket to win this Chrome Now mini bike, among other prizes. I really, want, I really want this to be one of y'all, yeah. since y'all are here. <laughs> but we can take uh, pictures. Yeah, Please yeah, keep your fingers nice. crossed. Let's be honest. We want, we want to put it on Instagram. Uh, okay. <laughs> and our Take it there good. We'll keep it real. Oh, boy. 
Okay. I'm nervous for him. Uh, Gary Four. Four Jr., please be here. Come on, Gary. I know it's an out of state, but Gary Four Jr., last four digits, 5709. Yeah, I think it's a 330. I think that's Ohio. Yeah. Uh, Good job, Gary. Oh, Here you go, Gary. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just a minute. Just a minute. Mark just came up with another idea. Yeah. I think uh, we're going to start throwing some t-shirts. Now yeah, watch the rascal. Yeah, watch the rascal. Woo! Oh, I'm sorry. There you go, boys. <laughs> what a fantastic idea. Give that man a raise. Well, nobody local won the chrome little rascal, but the good news is is that Go Power Sports is going to be making nine more chrome frame mini bikes, uh, both little rascals and big rascals, I believe, to raffle off for Teen Life Charity throughout the rest of the year. So their goal is to raise over $100,000 uh, by the end of the year, and this one alone raised over for 16,000 uh, and that's only with nine days of promotion as well so keep your eyes peeled on go power sports website and on our videos uh, to enter yourself again to win uh, an incredible all chrome little rascal uh, they are so so cool the pace swap meet has been a ton of fun it's coming up on five o'clock so we're gonna be hopping on mini bikes and cruising the rest of the meet today is Saturday it's the last day of the meet uh, and then we got to wait 363 more days to do it again. Uh, it's been so much fun meeting fans. Uh, it's so it's it's just been a great time. Um, uh, Go Power Sports has an incredible thing going on here, and uh, can't wait to do it again next year. Come on out next year uh, and come on and meet us. We have to give one more shout out to Go Power Sports uh, for being amazing hosts. They always have an incredible display at the Pate Swap Meet every year and this year was no exception uh the next little rascal all chrome raffle ends may 29th 2022 so now's the time to help raise money for a great cause and to potentially win a very small mini bike that has really big presence uh so anyway thank you all for watching we have a lot of good stuff coming up building out our workshop uh, and getting started on some new builds as well so be sure to subscribe and leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's episode we will catch you next time. I have my tetanus shot, don't worry. Low life. Oh, oh dude. Yeah, look. Oh, that's so bad. Oh, my God. Oh.